a person sits down to a meal and they have a lot of cheese in it things start to go wrong in their body within seconds first of all cheese is very high in sodium people don't think about that but there's more more sodium in a serving of cheese than there is in the same size serving of crisps um, huge amount of sodium so your blood pressure starts to go up um, there is a lot of cholesterol and saturated fat, so that's causing your blood cholesterol level to rise. All of these things start to make the heart uh, get burdened and have uh, greater heart risks. Um, that same saturated fat makes the blood thicker, more viscous. Uh, your blood is less like water, it's more like oil now because of that saturated fat, that's the solid fat in cheese. What that does is it makes you feel tired and sluggish, and so after meal you want to go to sleep as opposed to feeling energized. And over the long run, that high saturated fat intake takes a toll on the brain. We know that a high bad fat intake, saturated fat intake, is linked to Alzheimer's disease. But long before that happens, within minutes of eating this meal, the fats from the cheese get into your muscle cells and your liver cells. They cause a condition called insulin resistance, which is a big word, but it basically means that your body can't get the blood sugar, glucose, into the cells where it can do some good. So your doctor says, you're bordering on a little bit of diabetes here. When you get the cheese out of your diet, suddenly your blood pressure starts coming down, your blood glucose starts coming down, your blood cholesterol starts coming down, your risk of Alzheimer's and these other things starts coming down as well.